Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video oh, and today oh, as you can see by the title we are here for ORL around uh, I can't remember but we are here in Spa not a very good track for us but you know we're racing for fun it's for the content whatever let's just do it so um, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen before it quickly disappears the level of drivers we have in here as always is amazing we have Yano Otmia, Fabrizio Donoso Alessio de Capua, all the fast guys, Felipe, you know, you know how it is. Um, so yeah, very competitive league, and it's going to be a close one tonight. Um, from practice that I did with Yano, um, we've seen that he was doing a very, very fast lap time. So to beat him is going to be a real challenge as per usual, but we'll see what we can do. So, and now first run then, as per usual, it's pretty safe, not very fast, but it's actually enough for P2 right now. Um, so yeah, pace is looking decent. Yano is, yeah, miles ahead as per usual. I think he's about two tenths ahead. Um, so yeah, as I said before, he is looking very strong as per usual. Definitely the favourite to win. Um, but we'll see what we can do if we can challenge him up at the front. I think if we make no silly mistakes, then we should be... Bro, what the hell? So what's happened to you now? <clears throat> so, um, swiftly moving on from that, um, we finish our second lap. As you can see, we're over a tenth up, and we come across the line to a 40.2, which puts Yano us on? back into P2. But as you can see, Yano's done a 40.0, so, yeah, we're still nowhere near him. Um, he's just on an insane level today. Um, but yeah, we still have one more run to go, um, and we can definitely improve. As I say, there's a massive chunk of time in the last sector. Um, so yeah, we can still improve a lot, but it's a bit obvious. Yano is also going to improve a lot as well. Um, so, probably not going to be able to get pole, but we'll see. So, coming on to my final run then. We've gone slower in the first sector, which is not ideal. Coming into sector two, um, I mean, j just look at this. Just, hmm. Yeah. We're a tenth down. Lap's already dead. Um, coming through his right hander. We go deep, like the lap couldn't get any worse. Um, we're over a tenth down, um, but we keep going and we gain some time back. But yeah, definitely uh, not enough. Um, dead lap from me, very poor. Um, Fabrizio jumps us, um, but we are actually somehow going to start the race in P3. Um, and considering that point two lap that we did wasn't great, um, I was happy with that because I thought I thought a load of people would have beat it. Um, but yeah. Not wasting any time. We're getting straight into it for the ORL and Belgium Grand Prix. The lights are out, and guess what? We get an absolutely dreadful start, as per usual. That's kind of becoming a norm now um, in my races. Um, I think that's Shanika Clay or Daniel Haddad try going around the outside, but they can't make the move stick. And as you can see, they're like five wide behind me. That's what I'm freaking out about. Um, that could have been a big crash if they were going four wide up through a Rouge and Radion. But, um, yeah, we maintain our P3. Um, we have Yano and Fabrizio. Fabrizio actually goes for a move on Yano. Round the outside into Sector 2. Is he going to be able to make the move stick? No, he's not. He's going to tuck in behind. Um, we're going to stay in P3. As I say in every single video, when we're in the train, just try and save as much fuel, ERS, um, as tyres, as much as you can. And then we try and go for something later on in the race, whether that's an overcut, undercut. Um, as we get our first warning on lap one, um, which I don't need, well, you don't need me to tell you how bad that is getting your first warning. We almost got another one right there. Um, if we got two warnings on lap one, then yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. You really don't want to do that because um, I'm sure you've experienced this before. You just, you just do the rest of the race in just constant fear and you start... Uh, Taking every corner a little bit slower than you would normally when you have full confidence. So, yeah, I guess that's a tip. Um, make sure you avoid penalties, uh, especially very early on, because they can just yeah, ruin the confidence. Warning, but it is what it is. but um, yeah, now we're just going to do what we always do. Let's try and save our tyres, save DRS. Make sure we stay in the train, of course. Don't want to be dropping out of DRS. Um, and then maybe we can go for something later on. So, coming on to the end of lap 7, and as you can see, Fabrizio Donoso peels off into the pits. We're going to stay out with Yano, and we're going to go for an overcut. Um, we have a, not that much ERS, but we do have enough ERS left. Um, and we can use Yano's slipstream and DRS um, to drag us along a little bit. The tyres are really worn, um, but I don't think it should be too bad. The undercut, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Um, 
We might come out a little bit behind, but I don't think it's going to be anything uh, to worry about as long as we have a good in-lap here. Um, as you can see, well, we quickly flicked through it, but our tire wave was quite high. Um, so this in-lap is going to be a bit tricky, uh, especially through the middle sector. Um, but we just got to get through it. Decent pace. Stick with Yano. And um, yeah, at least we're not going to get held in the pits now, really. Um, d depending on how far uh, behind Yano we are when we come into the pits. So yeah, making our pit stop now. Um, make sure you're going to slow down. And as you can see, well, Yano's in a Mercedes. So when uh, there's a car coming out, well, like right in front of you, like you're about to see now, as we make our stop, Yano goes past and we get released a tiny bit late. That's the little glitch I think this game does. Um, we, were, we weren't as close as we were when he came into the pits, I think. And now also coming into the pit exit, we tap the wall a little bit. And as you can see, what? Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. This is this is what happens when the overcut goes wrong. <laughs> um, I think part of it, I think there was three main parts. The first being a fairly slow in lap because um, of the tires dying off, um, and then the second bit was being s held just a slight bit longer than we should have by Yano in the pits, and then that tap on the pit wall exit um, probably cost us that position to Simon there, uh, really. So. Yeah, just because of them three little things, we are now effectively um, out of this race. I know that sounds a bit crazy to say out of this race, because we're definitely not out. But in terms of Yano is now, what, three positions ahead of us? Um, and he's probably going to pull away while we get stuck behind. Um, or not stuck behind, it's not like Simon's slow, but um, yeah. There's just a big gap now between us and the leaders. Um, so that's unfortunate, we've been undercut by everyone and now we're just stuck in this train so um yeah this is that's the risk that comes with the overcut i guess um so yeah now from here well as you can see we still don't have much ers left um we just got a i mean there's nothing we can do actually um i don't look too annoyed right now in the face cam but i was extremely annoyed um yeah just being going from being in the lead in train to down in this position is quite annoying and is very likely that we're not going to be able to make overtakes because our tires are <laughs> as you can see yeah, my mood goes down instantly um, saying that I don't want to race but yeah now we're just stuck in this train and we just gotta wait I guess for mistakes any opportunities um, from the other drivers so moving on to lap 12 then um, Matthias I'm not sure actually if he was on old mediums um, or he just didn't have that much pace. But, um, yeah, everyone was carving their way past him. And we get through on him. So that's now an extra position. Um, we still need the guys up front to have him pit to pit. And I think we'll be in the net P6, I believe. Um, so, yeah, not in the best position. Um, but we just got to keep on pushing and see what happens. So moving on to lap 20 then. Because literally nothing happened in this stupid slipstream train. Um, going through no, uh, Puan. <laughs> Uh, Simon <laughs> makes a very uncharacteristic mistake oh. and is now out of this race. <laughs> he touched our uh, curb of death on the inside of Puon, which you definitely do not want to do. Um, because you'll end up like that. So, uh, yeah. That's a free position. Like I said, um, just waiting for others to make a mistake or something to happen. Um, and now we're into P5. Um, so, next up is uh, Dario. Um, which, who doesn't have DRS. Um... So, it'll be a quite an easy move on him. But, um, yeah, we actually make a mistake. Because, as you can see, we go for the overtake uh, on this lap, lap 21. And there's still another lap left. Um, now, I overtook him on this lap because I thought, well, fresher tyres. Um, I might be able to pull away through the middle sector if I had decent pace. Um, which, I did manage to pull a kind of sizable gap. Um, but, as you can see, it was just not enough. And Dario makes the move on the final lap around the outside. Nothing we can do. We could have just broke late and dived it, but uh, we just don't want to do that. We just don't want to crash out. There's no point. Um, so, yeah. At the end of the day, then, it's going to be P5. Or is it because we've ran out of fuel? Ben Sarb was right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <No way. laughs> ben Sarbo. 
didn't have time to react and smashes right into the back of us. And we've somehow managed to keep P5. Um, I feel a bit bad for Ben today. He should have definitely got that position. But um, yeah, he went straight into the back of us. I ran out of fuel coming out of the final corner, right? Ben's didn't realize he just shit. So yeah, we finished P5 overall. Yano Ami takes the win once again. Daniel Heliodad, P2, Fabrizio P P3, um, Dario P4, and ourselves, yeah, in P5 there. Um, that's it from me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will be back soon for PSGL. Um, round number... Uh, I don't even know what that round is either. But that's at uh, Zanvort, so yeah. <laughs> I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.